And one of the best things about the nature of WWE is that any match on any given night can steal the show. Since the inception of WWE, several major shows have been highlighted by a match that on paper didn't sound too great. But these low expectations ultimately helped the match in question and the performers in the match put on a performance that will never make fans doubt their abilities ever again, stealing the show. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE matches that surprisingly stole the show. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. Number 10, Batista vs The Undertaker and When it was first announced that Taker would be facing Batista at WrestleMania 23, there was a distinct lack of buzz surrounding the match. At this point in 2007, the Dead Man's WrestleMania win streak was a known for all-time classics, and Batista had yet to pull it all together in the ring. During the weekend of WrestleMania, Batista would be telling local media that he and The Undertaker were going to steal the show, and to his credit, he was right. The match was tremendous, and without a doubt one of Batista's finest matches. The two clearly went into the match with a point to prove. Fans go back and forth in relation to what match stole the show on this WrestleMania. Batista vs Undertaker or Cena vs Shawn Michaels, but Batista and Taker deserves extra credit as nobody expected the match to be as good as it was. Number 9 Sheamus vs The Big Show That's rare for a non Hell in a Cell match to steal the show at a Hell in a Cell specific pay per view, but that's exactly what Sheamus and The Big Show did in 2012. The two would collide for the world title and the two instantly clicked in the ring. The match was a brutal back and forth match that woke up a rather lackluster crowd. It's hard not to cite this as the Big Show's greatest match ever as he was truly in his element in the match and Sheamus was phenomenal in his babyface role. The match was so well received that WWE decided to continue the rivalry and the two would stay feuding until the very end of 2012. Number 8 The Great Carly vs John Cena The Great Carly had an established reputation for being terrible in the ring, so when WWE decided to book him in a feud with Cena in 2007, there was immediate concern. Fans were curious as to how the feud and matches were going to go, but Cena, to his credit, managed to get a decent match out of the 7 foot giant. Their pay per view encounter at Judgment Day without question stole the show, and their last man standing match a month later was also a strong contender for match of the night. Around this time, the negative perception of Cena began to shift as fans were slowly realizing that WWE's top guy was actually a fantastic in ring talent. Number 7 Sami Zayn vs Johnny Knoxville As Sami Zayn's work heading into WrestleMania 38 was superb. Zayn was feuding with Jackass star Johnny Knoxville and Zayn's work whilst comedic had a ton of depth. Zayn during his feud truly showed WWE as well as the fans that he could be given anything and he would make it work. The match itself was an anything goes match and the match received unanimous praise from fans and fellow WWE wrestlers. It was so entertaining and featured hilarious spots that received genuine laughs from the fans in attendance. The match will fondly be remembered for years to come on how to appropriately deliver a comedic match. Number 6 The Miz and John Morrison vs Bad Bunny and Damian Priest now Speaking of celebrities getting involved in the crazy world of WWE, in 2021 Bad Bunny made his WWE debut. Bunny is one of the biggest names in music and his WWE performance broke the mold on celebrities stepping foot in the ring. Bunny was a genuine fan of WWE and he was insistent on making the match work. So much so that Bunny trained extensively for the match and when it came his training showed. The quality of Bad Bunny's work blew everyone away and once the match was over Bunny was now the new benchmark for celebrities to get involved in wrestling. Fans since Bunny's appearance have been clamoring to see him return as his love for WWE as well as his commitment to the role is something that all fans continue to admire to this very day. Number 5 Scotty Too Hotty vs Dean Malenko a Backlash 2000 featured several huge matches including The Rock vs Triple H and Kurt Angle vs The Big Show. However, it was a completely random and unexpected match that stole the entire show. The match in question was a match for the light heavyweight title between Scotty Too Hardy and Dean Malenko. Malenko was well known for being incredible in the ring and Scotty had a ton of charisma that fans gravitated towards. The match simply put was a banger as the two had outstanding chemistry and fans were left speechless by how great the match ended up being. The match ended with Malenko performing with an implant DDT from the top rope and an incredibly creative match finish that is still referenced to this very day. Number 4 Goldberg vs Brock Lesnar Part 3 well, There was a ton of disappointment when it was revealed that the Universal title match for WrestleMania 33 would be Goldberg vs Brock Lesnar. Fans were hoping that the match for the title would be between Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho but Vince McMahon had other ideas. The match between Goldberg and Lesnar exceeded all expectations. It was fast paced and highlighted both men's abilities. 
When the bell rang, fans were ready to turn on the match, but the in-ring action was so compelling that the fans quickly got on board. There were some notable spots in the match, including Lesnar performing a leapfrog over Goldberg, which was incredible to witness, as well as Lesnar getting speared right through the barricade. The two wrestling legends managed to prove fans wrong, and it just highlighted how any match on any given night can turn out to be a classic. Number 3. Michelle McCool vs Melina Imagine having a match so good that it leads to getting you in trouble. That's exactly what happened when Melina and Michelle McCool put on a clinic at Night of Champions in 2009. At this point in time, it was common for women's pay-per-view matches to be a few minutes long and they would rarely steal the show. But the match between Melina and McCool was exceptional. It has aged incredibly well and wouldn't be out of place headlining a modern day WWE pay-per-view. Now, The reason the two women got in trouble was because WWE agents believed that they overshadowed the men. Melina would discuss this during an interview with Ring the Bella, and she stated, Everybody keeps asking me, did you really get in trouble? Yeah, we did. I think we were yelled at for it, and we were so proud. What we did was put everything together, and we didn't tell people what we were going to do because we knew that we just wanted to make something incredible. So I'm really proud of that moment. Number 2. Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle vs Stephanie McMahon and Triple H According to former WWE writer Brian Gerwitz, the original plans for WrestleMania 34 were for The Rock to team up with Rousey against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. However, when The Rock was unavailable for the match, Kurt Angle stepped in, and nobody knew what to expect from the match as it featured two legends past their prime in Triple H and Angle and a non-wrestling talent in Stephanie and somebody wrestling our first ever match in Ronda Rousey. To the delight of many, the match was so entertaining that it stole the entire show. Everyone in the match played their part to perfection, and the match is considered as one of the greatest debut matches in WWE history. To steal the show on a WrestleMania card that had matches such as AJ Styles vs Shinsuke Nakamura and Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns was some achievement, and all four talents should be immensely proud of that match. And number 1. Hornswoggle vs El Torito Upon the announcement that Hornswoggle would be facing El Torito in a WLC match at Extreme Rules 2014, there were groans heard across the wrestling fandom. The common belief was that the match was designed to make former WWE Chairman Vince McMahon laugh, but in reality, Hornswoggle and Torito planned on stealing the entire show. The match was insane. It featured the bumps that would be commonplace in a traditional TLC match, and the two men went into the match showing no fear. Credit should also be offered to 3MB and Los Matadors, who were also heavily involved in the match, and their presence certainly elevated certain spots in the match. Hornswoggle will go on to call the match the highlight of his entire career during an interview with WrestleZone as a former Cruiserweight Champion added, That is the single best thing I've ever done in my career. I'll go on record saying that's the best thing I've ever done in wrestling. That's probably the thing I talk about the most too. We showed the world that we could work. It was in New Jersey, the second most hardcore fans behind Chicago, and they should have booed us out of the building. We left to a standing ovation. The fans and the guys behind the curtain and the guys in the back, I go on record as saying that that was the best match of the night, on the pre-show or off. But there you have it folks, 10 WWE matches that surprisingly stole the show. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.